this week on the Hoover Boys. As you can see, there's a lot of area to cover. Oh my God, that's so awesome. 90, 91, 87. Well, that just turned my frown upside down. That doesn't look like a weedy. That looks like some silver. Well, good morning. It is Thursday, April 2nd. And today we're gonna go to the spot where I hit uh, a couple weeks ago where I found a large scent and a few mercury dimes just walking back to the truck. Um, but before we show you today, I got out last Friday, April 27th. And uh, it wasn't a great day. It changed locations, changed spots a few times. Ever have one of those days where you just can't find anything? It was one of those days. Just having a bad day. I was in a bad mood. And just when I thought all Hoover could find was iron. Because that's all I've been digging. She goes and does something like this. And totally redeems herself. Finally, finally, finally. Indian head penny, baby. Oh, I've been in a bad mood today, too, for some reason. That cheered me up a bit. Let's get some dirt off and see what we have. Alrighty. Alright, well... She's not the oldest, but she is in very good shape. 1906, full liberty. Let's see all the feathers. <sighs> Sigh of relief. Hi, Lady Liberty, looking like an Indian. How you doing? So yeah, I got out of that hunt with a uh, nice little Indian head penny. 1906, fantastic, fantastic shape. Really happy about that one. I actually found a couple little buttons that day, nothing too special. This one's kind of cool looking. Check this one out. Turn the bottom of my plug, and the back looks like a you know rusty part of a button. Flip it over, and I think there's something on there. Might have an eagle of some sort. We won't know for sure until we get home and clean it up a bit. I'm not going to clean it up too much here, but uh, I'll show you it all cleaned up right now. So I ran out of time, started working my way back to the truck, as I normally do, and uh, I get a, I don't know, 68, 71 signal, like, okay, zinkin', thinking of zinc Lincoln penny, or piece of can slaw, or whatever, check this out. Well, that just turned my frown upside down. It's not a silver coin. It's the other kind of shiny stuff. At least it looks uh, pretty shiny to me. Oh wow, that's a big old ring. Good night. Look at that honker. We got a stone in there. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Sounded like I thought I was going to dig a freaking penny. That is a honking gold ring. Hoo wee! Good night. Wow. That's a bad one, too. That is pretty heavy. We got gold and stone. Uh, let me clean it up a minute and uh, see what kind of markings we have. I'll tell you what, that's gold, baby. That's gold, baby. I cleaned it up with some foo foo. 
and you know there's no doubt it's not yellow gold it's it's heavy too you can see uh, where it was made right there it's another good indication of its age it's old it's not marked it's got a huge stone and I couldn't be happier we'll have it tested and see what it tests at but that's pretty that is awesome god that thing is heavy sweet this okay. thing looks right <laughs> darn it I guess I mean it's got the little break right there like all the old rings do yep what are we thinking 10k um, it looks 10 to me mm. my uh, 14k has come up a little more yellow this also scratches pretty easily it's got kind of a different color it's not that yellow but 10 carat will do that over time so here's our 10 carat so with this we just don't want the solution to go anywhere we don't want it to you know we don't want the sample to burn away and if it stays put like that you got at least a 10 karat gold ring that means we got to test for 14 karat yeah let's do that now so we'll do another little sample line right beside it i like this game just like that and we'll grab our 14 which is right here and cross our fingers Looks right to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't see it going anywhere. You see that? Looks looks the same there. Yeah. That's the 10 carat solution. That's a 14 carat. Now we're gonna <laughs> so what? We'll jump up to 18 carat. Oh, get out of here. There's, There's no, no way, way. No way it's 18 carat. Um, should just eat it right away. Yeah, that's one. 14. That's sick. Yep. Dissolved it right up. Yep, that's gone. Yep, so you got a 14 karat ring unmarked. 10K, 14K, bingo, 18K, negative. <laughs>
I wish it was in better shape. Oh well. Um, good sign though. Look around here somewhere. All right, in this hole here, we had two weedies. In this hole here, we had one weedie. So we have a weedie trifecta. Oh my God, that's so awesome. <laughs> we got a 41, 54, and 44. No silver, no nickels. Weedy trifecta. Oh my God. I should end it on that high note. Joking. Hopefully there's some silver around here. These were shallow, so that's a good sign. All right, I thought I was going after another weedy because that's all I can find today, and this is a weedy signal, but it's not a weedy. It's much bigger than a penny. I already cleaned it up a bit. On the back it says, raise track, raise up here and track there. It says this token has no cash value or trade value. Flip it over, raise track, and there's a horse on it from a horse racing track so that's pretty interesting that's a new one um, no idea how old it is we'll have to do some research on it but that's uh, pretty cool cleaned up nicely too I'll probably just leave it like that nice and dirty dirty horse sweet I was thinking about grabbing lunch and leaving this area, but I think I'm gonna stick around. Had a really nice sound. I just popped it up, and I thought it was a penny at first, but instead of a penny, it's a shank. So we have some sort of button. Let me clean it up a little bit more. See what we have. Now I got the wind to my back. I'm hoping blocking some of the wind noise but that's why we're in the shadows there's nothing on the front but the back there is some wording and I can definitely read rich color and it either says England or Ireland and it says something else too but definitely an old button so we will take that and I dropped it lost it forever dang it Time for a break. And I think we're gonna do a shout out too. Let's do a shout out to Two Tone Joe. Joe Toaf, eat your lunch. Joe, eat your lunch, sleep, and then dig. That's what's up. I actually got this Subway wrapper as a gift from uh, James Jackson, or Jim Jackson. He sent me a bunch of cigars and it was rolled up in that. I got it. it was pretty funny. Really funny. I got a good laugh out of that one. Thanks, Jim. Eat your lunch. All right. I got a deep target here. There's a coin. Every bit of eight inches deep. Sorry for the gum noise. It's really green. It looks different than the Wheaties I've been pulling. And I think we have an Indian head penny. I am pretty sure, we, yep. That's the back of an Indian head penny right there. Let me get some dirt off. I have never pulled an Indian out of here. That is awesome. I think it's pretty toasty, but I don't care. We'll clean it up. This thing is toasted to hell. My other locations, I pull beautiful Indians. Apparently here, they're not beautiful. That's the back. And believe it or not, this is the front. I figure out which way it goes. Just like that. It is an Indian head penny. I might see an eight and a six there, so it might be 1886. That thing is toasted. Toasty. It's an engine though. And I believe it's 1800's coin, so we will take it. <clears throat> Maybe there's some old silver around here. I certainly hope so. As you can see, there's a lot of area to cover. No. Toasty. Well, that was fun. Um, pulled a weedy out of this hole. Rescanned the hole. Let's get another signal. 
Suck the dirt shovel in over here, push the dirt up. That doesn't look like a weedy. That looks like some silver. It's probably just a rosy, but hey, I will take it. Let's see. She's where? Oh, where'd the silver go? It's not there anymore. Fall right down here. It is not a rosy. We got a Merc dime, baby. Hell yeah. And pop this off. Merc. Good shape, too. Let's clean her up a bit. Hold fast. And I think we see a mint. And, oh, I'm not even in the frame. There she is. Pretty as can be. Dab her off a bit. 1944. D for Denver. Yeah, buddy. Good shape. We'll take it. It is a different find. Um, Getting like a penny dime signal, and this pops up. It's uh, it's shiny. It appears to be silver. No idea. I'm thinking maybe like somebody's grill, like they have that for their teeth, or like a couple shiny teeth. I have no idea. Um. Maybe it's off of a bigger pendant or something. I don't know. Maybe teeth. I We're going to test out know. the gangster teeth, the grill, and see if it's silver. Oh, boy. It's got to be. Let me see that thing. My buddy Brad's got all the uh, little tricks of the trade. I'm going to just put a tiny little sample here on my stone. You can tell by how it scratches already that it's probably silver because it's a soft metal. We'll drop this uh, silver. And what color should solution it on it? It should be a nice milky red. Might not be enough light to see, but yeah, it's starting to change. A little bit of a reflection. It, it yeah, looks it? it looks red on camera. You can see the milkiness of it. Might just be my angle, but definitely silver. You got silver grill, man. Silver grill on the board. Woohoo! It's shiny. I mean, it's it's got to be silver. I mean, it has design on the little teeth area, but. I don't know. Here's a close up. Alright, I just popped up another flat button. Pretty much identical to the first one we found, I think. We will take it. Sweet. That was deep, too. Look how deep my hand is in there. It's a good 9, 10 inches. Sweet. It's old. We will take it. Well, I have an awesome signal, but between all those kids over there and the wind noise, you may not be able to hear it. I'm going to let you hear it. I was getting dime quarter type signal. It was uh, mid to high 80s, but I popped the plug and check it out now. 90, 91, 87, 89, uh, 86. So I'm hoping we got a silver quarter. We're going to go in together. Just in case. Right in the middle of the plug. So that's good. Oh, oh shit. Excuse me. Um, that is not silver. I think it's a large scent. Oh, maybe it's a button. That is a coin. Bingo. Let's see what we have. They put you in the hole. Oh yeah, that's a coin. Oh baby. Oh baby. Ain't much to clean off of that one. Let me uh, get some of that dirt off and see what we have. That is a beautiful... Oh! I think I see a matron head facing to the left. That is freaking awesome. I think the kids are setting off fireworks or something. And I'm over here popping up large scents from the 1800s. <laughs> she wasn't terribly deep. Maybe 
eight on the number. Yeah, I think it's perfectly eight inches. Very much to clean. I'm gonna get a little bit of that dirt off. See what we can get off of her. Oh man, that is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, there she is. She's pretty smooth, but she's not uh, real chewed up. That's the back, the wreath, and the one cent. And it is a matron head. So this coin is anywhere from, what is it? 1816 to 1839 is the matron heads. So that's an oldie. Um, I'm probably gonna leave her just like that. I do not think I'm gonna get a date off of it. I am just so happy to have her. Oh, and I lost her again. There she is. Lady Liberty, you know we love her. Large set, baby. Here's another example why I use the nail coil. It's a tiny little flat button. It's eight inches in the bottom of that hole. Look at that. The storm, the storm's a beast. Tiny flat button, sweet. Well, we called it a day. It's a day. Check out what we found. Bang, it's a lot of holes. Yeah, let's go over some of the trash first. You know, big iron, yummy. I think this is off a of Cadillac. LTD, is that a Cadillac? It looks like the Cadillac thing. A couple keys, little Tootsie car, bottle caps, yummy stuff. Uh, modern bullets, bottle caps, can, can slaw, pop tops, pull tabs, can slaw, a lot of can slaw. Um, let's see, where to go? Found a kitty cat. Meow. I think this is a play money that's folded over on itself. Uh, a couple clad quarters. These are all memorials. A few Zinkins came to the party. Yippee! Uh, those are clad dimes. These are all wheat pennies. 21 wheat pennies. 21. I think we're going to have to call it the wheat field. It's a lot of wheat pennies. Um, little buckle. Let's go over the stuff from the other day. This is last Friday. Found a 1906 Indian. Really good shape. And that beautiful gold ring. I need to get that tested because it's not marked because it's old. Old gold. But that's a beauty. There we go. That's a beauty. Um, found a little four hole button today. Three flat buttons, one's real tiny, they're old, that one's got a back mark. Uh, toasted up Indian, I'm used to them coming out pretty like that, but that one's toasted. Uh, buck and ball, another piece of old small caliber lead. I believe this is a V nickel. Just barely see the top of the bus there, I think it's fried as well. We have raised track. Horse racing type token thingamajinger. That's pretty cool. Came out of the ground really pretty. I believe this is, I mean, it's got to be silver. I mean, look at it. It rang up like silver. I think it's, uh, you know, you put that in your mouth and your teeth and you look like a gangster. Found one marked dime, 1944, Denver. I got it a little bit. It happens. And this beauty. Matron head large scent. Sweet. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. She's uh she's pretty smooth. But we will take her all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. Yep. So that was the day. Eat, sleep, dig. That's what we do. We're the Hoover Boys, so we dig it all, and we'll see you on the next dig.
Well, good morning. It's Thursday, March 2nd. Damn it. Apparently, we, uh, Mr. Uh, Tricks of the Trade has a scale as well. All right, I'm thinking eight penny weight, nine. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get to 10 grams. All right, a little off. 6.2, 14K. We'll do the math, find out what that's worth. Of course, we don't sell our fines, but that's fantastic. Sweet! Joe Toaf, eat your lunch. Mm. Don't fall over. Stop falling over. Who do you think this is? Are you okay? Are you okay? You fall down, good boom. Joe, eat your lunch, sleep, and then dig. That's what's up. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that stuff. You guys are awesome. Cheers.